Oh, cro oh god. And access is denied, so I don't think we can get out. Uh-oh. What are we gonna do, man? Uh... I don't know, I'm gonna mess with the broken optical sensor, so... <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying it as if I don't know what we're gonna do. <laughs> At least they're scientists, so they do know CPR. I think that guard's dead, though. <laughs> Aw, you don't have any hope. Yeah, sorry about So, this is what you get for having faith in the man. Yeah, but the man's still trying his best to help his fellow man. Nah, man. <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I forgot about that. Like how random explosions will make stuff fall down and crush bodies. Oh, yeah, I know, and then it explodes, and then it's all like, oh, bloody confetti. <laughs> bloody Gibbs confetti. everywhere. <laughs> Get in that elevator. So, I don't know about you, but you know that swirly elevator? No, not particularly. Oh, yes, I do. I, I remember now. Yeah. It took me forever the first time I was playing this to find out where the <laughs> button actually was to get back up. Oh, I love this guy. Why didn't they listen? He loves you too. tried to warn them. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the resonance. I love that. Why didn't they listen? We tried to warn them. They had faith in the man, just like Gordon Freeman did. You think twice. Alright, so guys, these are head crabs, and take a good look because this is the only look that you're going to get from a close-up perspective that is not me killing them. <laughs> <laughs> or them killing you. Actually, if I were playing, it would be them killing me. Oh yeah, I forgot. I've actually got to bring a scientist along with me. Uh, yeah. While they're just being like, why didn't they listen? <laughs> no, I forgot we needed to use them to use the eye the reader. Optical, yeah, the optical sensor. Yes. Well, you can listen to us and come along with us and open this door so that we can leave you to perish. Yay! <laughs> Oh, come on. He's like, I'm afraid of the future. <laughs> I love how all the scientists are like, with my brains and your brawn, as if I'm not an MIT graduate. <laughs> well, good thing we got out of that chamber. It's exploding even more. He it's exploding twice. Gordon Freeman probably kept his MIT uh, graduation. And, uh, secret, so that like all he had to do in life was just press switches and push boxes. I bet he just beat up the dean in order to get his graduation. <laughs> Probably. So, did it ever strike you as weird that they actually sent an enemy at you before you actually get a weapon? Yeah. I, I mean, but it's pure genius. I mean, it's only the one head crab, but still. But it's pure genius. <laughs> and here, here's my reason why. Because okay. you're walking through Black Mesa and you're just a little scientist, you know, whatever. I mean, you, you got you got some guns, but you don't have anything to protect yourself with. So you're like, oh my god, what do I do? It's I just like saw a security guard got, get cut in half with a laser. Exactly. That could be you at any moment until you get, an, uh, until you get a weapon. Okay? So, see? No, I think that could be you and Tyrell during your Portal 2 run. Shut up. <laughs> this is true, only because we like to kill each other. Oh. I should not have hit that elevator switch. Uh-oh. The elevator went plummeting. <gasps> uh, but I, I bet they're okay. Let's go check. No, they're probably dead as a doornail. No, I, I don't, don't. Okay, there's a skull. Oh yeah. wait, no, that's not a skull, that's just rubble. There's no bits See, of them. See, there's the nothing left. There's no bits of them left. They've been pulverized into nothingness. They disintegrated. <laughs> and brother, when it disintegrates, it disintegrates. <laughs> oh, hey. At least we can get a guard. Oh, God. Sorry. Zombies. Oh, and oh. me not being good at hitting them away with the crowbar. Are you playing this on normal? Science team uniform. I think so. Okay. Let's check. Yeah. All right. I Go mean, for it. Probably could do it on hard. Her her her. <laughs> now nah, I'm not gonna Get challenge you. Well, I've got a security guard with me, so maybe I could do it. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna help. Just make sure you don't betray him. Oh God. You mean like this? <gasps> <laughs> 
I just bashed his head in for a gun. Oh! <laughs> Gosh, I can't believe you. Uh, we're going second and get rid of these guys. I would never go, you know, waltzing through a, a, a turmoiled laboratory with you because you might turn around and just snap and punch <laughs> me in the face until I die. <laughs> I don't think so. Ah, what are you talking about? I would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, just remember, if you're ever stuck in the same situation as Gordon Freeman is with Alex, just just run away because he'll snap. <laughs> he'll snap and he'll kill you. <laughs> or just don't let me near anything that's blunt True. and heavy. That as well. <laughs> that as well. But anyway, I love also how there's this one guy who's halfway through the transformation of becoming a zombie with the head crab on him. Oh yeah, I know. That's that's cool. Except you can like kill the head crab and kill the guy and just make sure nothing bad happens. Yeah, but I just found out you can only kill the head crab with the crowbar. I tried to shoot it and nothing happened. Really? Yes, that was actually pretty interesting. Hmm. Oh no. Maybe our, it's because it's trying to mate on his face. Our favorite burrito scientist. There's just a pool of blood in the break room where he was, and... Oh, no! The microwave is all smashed open. Oh, man. Is the burrito still in there? Uh, it's all spilled over the inside of the microwave, but it's still in there. You could probably salvage it. <laughs> yeah, actually, I'm gonna try. Just take that little plate in there, and then just... There we go. I got it open, but I, I can't I can't grab it. It's too much of a refried bean mess. I guess so. Darn it. Open. There we go. Oh no! Another scientist died. We were gonna feast on. Oh. What so, I know. <laughs> I just um, I realized that um, Guthrie's locker is now open. <gasps> uh -oh. When you go back to the HEV room, mm -hmm. and on the inside is just hanging an, Amer an American flag. Oh. And two clips for your gun. <laughs> he was a countryman. Well, I'm just gonna heal up before we move on because I kind of was a doof with that crowbar. You was a doof? Yes. That's, oh my god. That your saying is going along. It is. Uh, because of your co-op with Blappa, yeah, Blappa, I have started watching his videos and they um, are fantastic. Aren't they? I'm just saying. I mean, seriously... You you find you you find that some sometimes your viewers are awesome LPers themselves. So. I know. Like who so, would have guessed? Exactly. <laughs> oh man, our way's blocked though, so it looks like we're gonna have to go back through the tram or something. No. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm 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 feigning ignorance. Oh, I mean, <laughs> I mean, shut up. <laughs> Oh, thank you, random explosion knocking over a tower of computers for killing that head grab on for me. Well, <laughs> You're pretty nice, random explosion. Don't worry, they're not that nice the whole game. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember getting to one part, and then I got stuck, and then my computer died, and I had to reboot it, or I mean reformat or whatever, and then I lost my save data. And... <sighs> oh god, I, for I forgot about that head grab. That just pops out of a random vent at you. See, okay, you're not you're you've become um you've become desensitized to all the scares in Half Life, so you're just all like, oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. But I guarantee you, if I were playing this game, I would be like, <laughs> oh no, I can't break through the window and put that poor scientist who got jumped on by a head crab out of his misery. Nope, you're just gonna have to sit there and watch him suffer. Oh, that's right, though. What? There's the room on the other side with just the red light and the one guy with the head crab on his head that's, like, freaking out in front of the flashing screen. Mm-hmm. You better go save him. Go do it. He's counting on you. He's got he's got two little kids at home. A boy and a girl. I don't, I don't Johnny, know if I can do it. I don't know Johnny if I can do Johnny and Samantha. Think of Johnny and Samantha. Okay, okay. I put him out of his misery. They need... No. Oh. <laughs> well, he was be he was he was already a headcrab zombie. Well, he 
they needed their father, whether he's a head crab zombie zombie or not. They can adapt. <laughs> they can have head crab zombie chillums. Yeah, they can. It's fine. Children are resilient. They'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> they'll spring back. They'll they'll, they'll cope. Yeah, they'll go. They're pretty adaptive. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's something wrong with us. <laughs> well, we are now out of anomalous materials. Oh god, and now we have the random warp in aliens. Uh oh. Those sonic dudes. Oh, oh, I hate those guys, where they shoot like those blasts at you. Yeah, and guys being like dragged into vents and being eaten. Ooh. <laughs> Those are my favorites. This is a fun game. Oh yeah, and then they get dragged yeah, in, and then like all the all their all like the, entrails like, start get, falling like, out. out. <laughs> Regurgitated. Why are we laughing? This is, there's something wrong with this. Oh, I found your favorite friend, and I missed him with my gun. Oh no! Your favorite government friend. Who's it? <gasps> the no. G-Man. No! <laughs> he scares me! Well, I tried to shoot him for you, but I missed. Yeah, but you can't shoot the G-Man. Well, there's a few times when there's not, like, glass or anything in between you, but you still can't hurt him. I know, it's because he's, like, supernatural or something. I don't even know, man. Maybe. G-Man scares me. Any? Do you guys have any G-Man theories? Because I don't, but I would love to hear them. Well, I can't tell you because you haven't played that far in the game yet. Well, you haven't played that far in the games. Yeah, true. I've really only played yeah, like the first half of Half Life, so I guess that would be Quarter Life. You gotta be careful to rescue this scientist because I always forget about him, and you can actually get like grenades and whatnot with him. Under a microscope? <laughs> I never use grenades. I always Sorry, say that again. I couldn't hear I... you over bullets. <laughs> Over the rain of gunfire. I say, um, I, I say, I say, I said, um. I say, I say, I say. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember what I said now that we're being stupid. Oh, um, you were I talking never about use, the scientists. I never use grenades because I always forget that I have them. Oh, they're pretty useful. Are they now? Yeah. Especially later on when it gets um, huh, difficult. <laughs> no, when it gets a little dumb. When it gets a little dumb. <laughs> I still love it, though. Uh, okay, yeah. alright, alright. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. I guess we'll stop talking about it for those of you who haven't played half -Life. Well, it's also kind of the first game that does it, so it's not its yes, fault. The system has well, completely failed. okay. <laughs> I'll forgive it. Oh, what was that? I heard a warp. I heard something coming in. Uh-oh. Turn around! It's oh god, behind it's a head crab. Don't it is behind me. Oh god, it's a Vortigon already. I forgot uh, they showed up this early. I don't know names. What are we talking about? Uh, those guys that have the one red eye and they shoot oh. the electricity at you. Oh yeah, those guys. Those guys are called Vortigaunts. Oh, are they? Yes. Well, you know more than I do about Half-Life, I guess. <laughs> well, I've also played more than you do, so that makes sense. Yes, that does Come make on. sense. Open up. There's the one scientist hiding in this dumpster and he's not opening up. Well, I wouldn't either. There's chaos ensuing outside of the dumpster walls. Yeah, but I want, I want, I want to. Want to have wanna, a beer with I, I want to throw a grenade at him. Oh no! <laughs> well, I like my suggestion better. <laughs> want to be that well, angry guy? Well, I don't like beer, so I don't want to have a beer with him. No. What about a what about a nice classy glass of wine? I don't really like wine either. <laughs> <laughs> so that doesn't really work either. Oh, okay. What about what about an ice cream cone? Maybe. What, what about kind a of chicken ice cream? leg? <laughs> <laughs> um I think a chicken no. leg. No. <laughs> What about ice? What about chicken leg flavored ice cream? <laughs> Is it barbecue chicken fla leg flavored ice cream? I can't even say it anymore. No, it's it's fried chicken leg flavored ice cream. Is it fried ice cream that's just chicken leg flavored or fried chicken flavored? That that is a good question because fried ice cream is amazing. No, okay, because then it would be <laughs> then it would be fried ice cream 
of like raw chicken flavor, which is gross. No, it'd have to be regular <laughs> ice cream with fried chicken legs. It could be baked chicken flavored. It could be, but I say it's fried. Mm. I wish more of these head crabs would actually fall into the crusher so you didn't have to fight them after they fell down, but... Well, that would just be too convenient. Oh yeah, guys, don't fall into that, because that'll kill you. <laughs> Good <laughs> to advice. S- to see how it's crushing and everything? Yeah, that looks painful, so don't do it. You know, I probably actually have jumped into that wondering what would happen. Oh, I have too. Oh, okay. <laughs> awesome. And I do it just for kicks these days, too. <laughs> well, I mean, you spawn pretty pretty much like there's save points. Like, well, there's not too many checkpoint things. Yeah, but they're not too far apart either. Yeah. I'm beating off like hordes of five head crabs at a time now. Awesome. Do you still have your crowbar or are you using your gun? I'm using my crowbar. <gasps> All right. Do I still have my crowbar? You have it throughout the entire game. Yeah, I know. You gotta utilize it. <laughs> That crowbar is more essential to your life than any sort of gun that you could ever have. Oh, depending on how far you've gotten, you have no idea. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. I gotta, I gotta start playing Half Life again. I forget about the jumping puzzles. Oh yeah. Like the rooms that you have to jump around, like the outside of because uh-huh. things have fallen in and broken away the walkways. It always feels like I'm breaking the game by doing it. Because nope, it never feels what... like you need to do that. Nope, that's what you're supposed to do. Yep. Ooh, and we have, uh, barnacles now. So, I have a story to tell you. Oh. Yeah, it's called the ugly barnacle. Oh, what happens? What? There was an, a barnacle. He was so ugly that everyone died. The end. Oh my god, he is ugly. Oh my god, he's gonna eat me. Oh, <laughs> uh, I jumped into a barnacle's mouth while you were telling me that story, by the way. Oh no! <laughs> he got angry because he's ugly. And then you died. The end. <laughs> well, I, I, I made sure I lived. Oh, Follows the story. <laughs> uh, I don't think I can get over. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that door you guys saw me go into that just leads down here. Since oh. I kind I kind of jumped off the edge. So you went over the edge. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Don't I'll stop start. me because I'm close to the edge. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Uh, I don't know songs. What's more sad that you referenced it or that I corrected, corrected the reference? It. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. It's for oh you in the comments to decide. Ooh. You know, after the canal with the with, where you first see the barnacles. Um. Sure. How there's a really tight corridor. Oh yeah, yeah. For some reason, I always think that there's a head crab zombie that's gonna like pop around the corner. And it like, feels like there should be. Eat me. Oh, They don't eat you, do they? Well, they they attack you. And they and then probably they eat, you. eat you. Yeah. <laughs> who, knows, who knows what what they do to Gordon Freeman after they kill him. Then we have my favorite jumping puzzle. Yay! Because especially like in the source version, you know how you have to jump around those boxes that are connected to by wires? to a uh, rail yeah in the source version the crates move when you jump on them oh really i don't think they do that in the original one that's a little annoying i don't know the original had some pretty interesting physics i died <laughs> awesome <laughs> oh man i love it when... oh my god oh my god what do you know where i am right now do you know where it respawned me where? It respawned me at the beginning of the game. It did not. It did too. Are you serious? Yes. Um. <laughs> oh, that's trolling you. That's trolling. That is ridiculous because I never oh saved. God. You should. You you shouldn't be so confident in your abilities. You have to save every now and then, my friend. 
Yeah, I should have known better. But because I died, I'm actually going to show you and the viewers what I was talking about, about how the G-Man will follow you on his own train. By cheating. By cheating? <laughs> yeah, I'm using no clip. Oh, okay. Yeah, I am. Um, but I can't see it. I'll have to watch it when the video comes out. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why the video is glitching out. Like, he's screen sharing with me, but um, I see, like, a frozen image or whatever. Oh, he didn't show up. <gasps> oh, well. Oh, no. Let's catch up with my train. Good. Whoa. Good. I don't like the G-Man. He's scary. He's a scary gentleman. He's like Slenderman, but in the Half-Life series. Oh, well, I, I glitched out my train. Great. <laughs> so this is an LP where you show glitches, huh? It's one of those LPs. No, I think I'm just going to end it here by killing myself. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> no, this is an LP where I cheat. It's one of those LPs. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, there, there is something honorable in that, I think. <laughs> Well, I think I'm going to end the recording now. Sounds good. It's been a pleasure, my friend. And I'm going to catch up to where I was. <laughs> good idea. And I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Half-Life. Yeah, uh, thanks for having me. Of course. It was a blast. Awesome. And... Maybe you see you back again. Uh, I, I would hope, but I don't. I don't. I, don't, I gotta play Half Life. I gotta keep up with you. I gotta keep up with you in this LP. This I know. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> well, it's a long game, so never know. <laughs> All right. All right. So this has been OXFU and Splitable Infinity, and I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Half Life Source. Take it easy. Yeah.